Do you ever see somebody on the internet and you wonder why? Why in the hell anybody would want to watch that content? Why are you thinking about me, cheeky? No, but you are watching me, so if you want to, it's the new year. Be nice, subscribe. It could be like a late Christmas present from you. I mean, it's still late. But I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get, really. So today we're looking at Jack Doherty. You might have seen him if you're really unlucky. He's got like 14 million subscribers almost. And he is just the most annoying man lit I've ever seen on the internet. That's coming from me. I'm like five foot two. I could only describe what Jack Doherty does as annoy people professionally for a living. And you'll see that in this clip. We got out of there, mofo! Let's go! There's kids around here. I didn't say any curse words. What'd I say? Just watch your language. What'd I say? You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, your kids bro? can't read, what are you though. Talking about? Your kids can't read, can they? <laughs> I'm get sure your kids me. watch. Uh, you, get away from you me. You started talking to me, buddy. Get away from uh, me. Uh, 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 you get away from me. Watch your kids. Go wa walk away. Yo, yo, what? Say you, man. Hey, 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 what the fuck's your problem? That's everything you need to know about Jack, basically. He starts a fight with somebody, and then his big security guard steps in the way. Because he's a really cool, tough man. And that's what tough people do. Picking on a fight on somebody who's just trying to look after their children, and is telling you, relatively in a polite way, that he doesn't like the way you're acting around his kids. And then what you do is you get as close to him as you possibly can, and you're like, oh, what, you know, like, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? It's just pathetic behavior. And also the girl at the end going, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Why, why would you even try and punch Jack? Have you spent more than five minutes in a room with him? It's relatively understandable. This clip isn't why Jack Doherty is in the news today. He's in the news today because he's been banned from Kick. I don't even think that was actually humanly possible because they would literally let you just do any form of crime on that website and they'd pretty much give you like an hour break. Like a timeout, maybe. They'd give you like a sin bin, you know? Oh, just sit out for five minutes. What did you do? You killed seven people? Um, yeah, that's like a seven minute ban. One minute for every person killed. They're they're just the weirdest group of people on the platform. But the reason why he's been banned is because he had some girl go on his stream and just constantly flash people on it, which is content, apparently, in 2024. We're opening the year strong. Do it, 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 do Cool bloody behavior, you know, just asking girls to strip down on camera. I mean, it's like classic American content. You saw it with like Jake Paul uh, and to a certain extent Logan Paul back in the day. It's not really a new meta to just have women do stuff in thumbnails for videos. That's like age old YouTube and American TV. But it's very weird because Jack Doherty has this business plan where he brings these models onto his stream and then he gets them to do what we just kind of saw behind the copious amount of blurring. And then he promotes them and then he takes a percentage of the money and that's like part of his business plan. It's really odd. And the reason why it's really odd is because we all know that it is definitely aimed at teenagers, which makes this really kind of actually creepy. I've always found it weird when YouTubers promote stuff like that to their audience. It's like, if that 14 year old was stood in the room with you, instead of just being behind a screen, that would be even weirder. But they don't think about it like that, do they? I've seen Jack Doherty meet people in his videos. His fans come up to him, and when you see them, they are all like 13. So he knows. He's fully aware of what he's doing. And we've got another clip right here, because it happens all the time. <laughs> Show me them things. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Girl, what you walking around? Girl, you need your toes done. <laughs> you need your tits done. I do. Let me just... Oh, my God. Get... Number one, who the fuck is that guy? Who is he? Who are these people? Who are these people that orbit people like Jack Doherty? You look like you're 10 years older than everybody else in that room. What are you doing with your life? What What made it come to this? We gotta have to come to the screen again. Okay. <laughs> These niggas are gonna Huh? Did you do it? Yeah, I did it. What? What did you do? There's something about Jack Doherty sat there with his 
shade on that just irritates me. I don't know what it is. I can't watch his videos without just being constantly annoyed. I have no idea how anybody can get through them. I really don't. Jack Doherty has been banned from Kick following a number of flashing incidents of guests on stream. Jack didn't take any responsibility and seemed unconcerned with the ban. Well, that says it all, really, doesn't it? I think he's already been unbanned, which says a lot about these websites. Like, they're not really bothered about safeguarding the young audiences that are watching on their websites, and they know that that's what they're doing. They just allow Jack Doherty to make content like this, so that's cool for them. I've seen videos on YouTube get age-restricted and demonetized just for mentioning violence, yet Jack Doherty has a YouTube channel where he spends most of his time just inciting that. Like, angry old man attacks me. Well, we've already seen that clip. We got jumped at Denny's. I wonder what this video is gonna be like. Does he go out and incite some form of fight and have his security guard step in? Well, I guess we'll find out. I mean, people like, calm the f down. You have a channel, right? Yeah, yeah. I told you, God. I don't want to f you, man. Come on, because you picture, bro. I know I ain't tripping. I, 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 with you. I, I, I seen you on a couple channels. I ain't gonna lie. I watch YouTube all the time. He yeah, says, man, I should have brought some f shit out here. Watch you know, him out. What'd I say? Exactly what I said. What? Why are you guys pressing? You a little security guard. Come on, I'm gonna what? You heard what I said. All right, let's talk. No. Let's chill. No, chill, chill. chill. No, chill. What is this? Like, what am I actually watching? Like, I've put on a couple of these vlogs. And I do not understand what the appeal is. He goes around, some people walk up to him, they kind of go, Oh, you gotta like, we're gonna fight or whatever? You gotta like come outside and fight me? And they go, Oh yeah, like, we'll fight maybe. And then nothing really happens. And he walks away and goes like, Oh yeah, we won that. And then what, people in the comments go, Yes, Jack, honest kick stream, go W, W win, W, W win, fight. Go outside. <laughs> What you came inside for? Yo, but why you eat? You all right? Just enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. What you talking about, G? You all right? Enjoy your meal. What you hyped up for, bro? Enjoy your meal. Ain't nobody hyped up, bro. Nobody hyped up. I said enjoy your meal, bro. I put you to sleep. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why is it even a problem, bro? Be out here filming. Why is it even a problem, bro? I love this. Why is it even a problem, bro? Well, you could just walk away. Like, you could. You guys left the Denny's, so you could have just carried on leaving. But no, this is what the vlog's about. It's about cool stuff like this. This is cool, guys. This is really sick. Cool. I want to be these guys. I want to be like Jack Doherty. Who even stepped and said anything of any aggression towards you, bro? What's up? What's wrong? Hey, don't say that. Because I'll put you to sleep. Don't say that, G. I'll put you to sleep. Back the f up. That was not what you said. That was not what you said. Back the f up. 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 Back Squaring up to each other, oh, who's cooler, who's gonna fight, who I, I could beat you up, I could beat you up. What about the poor Denny's employees who have to sit there and try and do their job whilst a bunch of imbecile influencers pretend to, like, fight each other for a vlog? It's just not fair on them. And that's the thing I hate about a lot of this content is Jack Dirty goes out of his way to make the life harder for the average working person. And he does it all the time. Or what? You didn't touch you with the mic. Listen, you're going to make this worse. You're going to get put your mic in on the ground. That is it. You're being issued a trespass warning. This is unfair. I didn't do anything wrong. All right, guys. I just got banned from the last mall in Florida that I'm not banned from. And literally all I do is film videos and buy people stuff. And this is like the mall that's literally right next to my house. And I'm just angry because I don't know how I'm going to film my videos anymore. Like, all I was doing was buying someone something. I was trying to buy this lady some Crocs. And the Croc I didn't want us to film in the store. We were just trying to buy the Crocs. And then it just escalated. You can see in the video. You can't convince me that any actual human being would walk around wearing a t shirt like that. That's not something that actual people do. Frustrated because I knew in the back of my mind, I was like, I'm fucked. If I get banned from this mall, I don't know what I'm gonna do anymore. But check out the links in the description down below. Check out jaggory.com, you already know. How am I gonna buy people things in public now if I'm banned from every mall? I have no idea. I'll leave the state. I wish I was able to live stream getting banned from the fucking mall. Excuse me, excuse me. I have a question. Okay, so if you've gathered from the first 42 seconds of this video, He's banned from the mall. He said it about a million times. It's very hard to figure out what he's trying to say because he says everything at a million miles per hour. I don't know why vloggers do that. You don't have to talk in the entire video like this. It's fine. We can like understand you if you speak at a normal speed. Like, is it because the only people watching your videos are like, have like horrific ADHD and like six years old? Is that why? Is that why you have to talk like this all the time? Because it's bloody annoying. Please stop. Guess on my nerves. Why do people do that? Just talk at a normal pace. It's fine. 
your audience can understand you if they have some form of literacy test that they've taken at least once in their life. It will be okay. So let's see, did he really do nothing? Hey guys, we've got option A here. Jack Doherty did nothing and they just randomly kicked him out of the mall. Or option B, he definitely did something obviously and he pissed them off. I'll let you guys decide at home. No problem. Look, sir, the kids love me. Let me be, please. Mate, number one, that girl is about eight years old and she's nearly as tall as him to his shoulders. No wonder he walks around with that security guard. But we're about to find out the answer to our question. Does Jack do something incredibly annoying? Does he do something that's going to get himself banned? Does he piss off the security guard for no reason? Because he's a jarring individual. I guess we'll find out. Are you ready? Let's go. Listen to me. Okay, yeah. I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm gonna ask you one more time. I said we were leaving. Okay, I'm gonna follow you out. We're leaving, bro. Like, relax. You don't gotta tell me anything one more time. Six to dispatch. We have a car parked somewhere. We already know. Just speak. Six to dispatch. Don't walk away. We'll talk. Get that shit out of my face. Or, Get out of my face. Or what? Okay, we'll get Give it back. Watch out. This is like the most insane thing I've ever watched because these guys are in America. I'm pretty sure they're in Miami to be exact. And he's just gone up to a man who looks like he's probably carrying and just like squared up to his Jack Dirty security guard to fight him. You might lose this one. I truly don't understand these vlogs because he feels like he's so cool and tough behind his security guard. But all it takes is for one of the crazed Americans you walk up to to go, I'm not having this shit and just turn around and pull a gun on you. And what's the security guard gonna do? Do you pay him enough to dive in front of the bullet? I don't think so. You're gonna have to take your stuff. You're gonna touch it. I didn't touch it. No, yes you did. I didn't touch it. We're doing the same job. You don't touch him. Except the mic because you put it in my face. I didn't put it in your face, but yeah, I was just leave first. He did put it in his face. He on purposely aggravated somebody who went, hey man, don't put that microphone in my face. And he held it up to his face. He did it on purpose. I don't have a microphone, but I've got this. He went, he went, he literally went like that. It's on video, Jack, you idiot. I don't understand why he thinks that filming himself committing crimes or irritating people to the point where they retaliate is something that's going to be cool for him. Okay, it's not illegal, maybe, to stick a camera in somebody's face and a microphone, but it's fucking rude. And anybody with any form of respect for other people wouldn't do that shit. It doesn't have to be a crime for it to be wrong. You're an annoying bastard, basically, is what everybody's trying to say. <laughs> You don't know your job, Yes, sir. Alright, we out. But let's go this way. Go through the dick. Did he seriously say you don't know Jack Doherty? Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, sorry, officer. Um, uh, it's actually, it's Jack Doherty. Yeah, it's Jack Doherty. So, um, yeah, don't arrest him. Yeah, we didn't know. Okay, yeah. That's cool with you. Cool with me. Jack Doherty. We all love him here. He's a cool guy. Did he actually think that was going to be like some form of response? It was going to like, oh, they're going to go, oh, man. <laughs> oh, this, obviously, we should not have been fucking with Jack. He's really cool. He's got a security guard. We love Jack. He's cool, man. We should let... We, he practically should own this mall. Let him run around and just do what he wants. Pissing people off and disrupting business. Because that's obviously what they're annoyed at. He's trying to go around, disrupt people who should be buying from the shops that are selling there, that are vending. And they find him annoying. And also, as somebody who's filmed in malls before, they don't like it. They don't want you filming in there. It's annoying, for sure, if you want to film something. But, you know, it's because there's people walking around and maybe they don't want to be in camera. Okay, and sometimes you just gotta respect that. Unless you're Jack Doherty, because he's got a security guard and he's cool. Oh, Apparently, he told them about the mall policy on making YouTube. And we were leaving. No, 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 no. Oh, he right. told, obviously, this is his security. Okay, I'm telling him to leave. He takes his mic, put it in my face. I grabbed. That's not touching him. This gentleman here, I didn't know which of his security. Both stuff from me like No, this. I think the mic is from you. No, 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 no. It's so funny because you're watching him tell the story and they're being like, that's not what happened. Whilst they're showing footage of that happening. Like, they are corroborating with his story. They are helping him in the edit by going, yeah, actually, here's proof that everything that man just said actually did happen. These people are so stupid. The most brain-dead team of editing and, like, 
individuals on YouTube. It's so dumb. Yeah, yeah. I didn't put the mic in his face, and we were leaving. We're going home. How many of you were here? Was it two. just them two? Yeah, yeah. And, no, it's just uh, us two. It was just you two, and you were with yeah. them. Yeah. All right, you guys Hold are on. all together. Yes. Do you want them on mall property anymore? We're leaving. Yes or no? Listen. We're leaving. Hold on. No, no, no. no. Listen. I have a flight explain. that I have to go to right now. He took this mic. He put it in my face like this. No, did he talk to who's the mic? Third. Listen to me. No, answer my question. Answer my question. Did he talk to who's the mic? You don't put No, no, no. Listen, no, 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 no. He didn't touch. All right, all right, let's just stop. Let's just stop. I can't be held. I don't think I have to stay here. This guy's pressing me. Like, I don't want anyone to fight. I want to be peaceful. We just want to leave. Like, that's it. We're leaving. And okay, but what's going to happen out. is you guys are going to be trespassing with So we're going to need your information. And after that, then you're going to be free to leave. Okay, so Jack wants to leave because he knows that if he gets banned from the mall, he can't make any of this really annoying content anymore and i don't think i've ever used that term more loosely in my life the word content basically means nothing now it's just a camera that's recording and anything that passes through this lens that counts as content that's what it is now there's no insight or anything or form of i guess entertainment that needs to take place it's just be fucking annoying and film it there you go, you're a YouTube star. Uh, I don't want to be trespassing anywhere. I'm not going to come back here. I have a flight We're to catch. Past but for what? I didn't do anything wrong, sir. I haven't spoken a word to this guy. Okay, but, but so sir, do do you want trespass to me. Like, I really didn't do anything. Boss said you guys are being so, so, just sure you get so can we just leave? Like, I think you guys got to think about what you But listen, I was buying someone something from the mall, and he came up to me and pressed me. I really did not do anything wrong I did not do anything wrong. I'm telling you that. Like, it's just, he just got mad. I don't even know. He took it the wrong way. I was leaving, and he kept going, like, get back here. And I was trying to leave, and he wouldn't let me leave. Well, the reason why they don't like people making YouTube videos at the mall, and as he said, there's a mall policy on it, is because of people like you, Jack, being annoying to the security staff. There is literally videos of him starting fights on his YouTube channel. So it's not really a surprise that they don't want somebody like that walking around the premises, just annoying customers who are on their day-to-day -day life. Especially when you go after people who have their kids with them. Like, you're a rat, mate. You're a little rat creature. Do you not know the rat? I'm not even gonna call you a rat. That's unfair on the rats. I call you like um a mole. A little mole in his little hole. And by that I mean the security guards. Us. Not arrest me, they're trying to just get my information and trespass. You should just leave the mall. If you're not under arrest, you should just leave the mall. Yeah, so why are they allowed to keep me? They're saying I'm not detained, but they just want my information. I mean, are they actual police officers? Yeah, I think so, but I'm not detained, but they're asking me for my information. I gave them my information, I just want to leave now. Yeah, then leave. I'm allowed to leave. Is that your attorney? Yes, but you yeah, can't. Right. This is Detective Campanelli with the Sunrise Police Department. The Sawgrass Mills Mall is on the police department trespass program. We have the legal right to trespass somebody from yes, this property. Yes, you don't property. have the legal right to hold the me. Mob, yes, we have to get your information to trespass you from the property. We can't do that without getting Okay, but you can't hold me here. This is an investigation. No, yes, it's not. Can. There's nothing you're investigating. Because we're What's trespassing my trespassing you. Am I allowed to just leave? And you're on body camera. Okay. It's so funny that he calls, like, somebody off to just try to give him advice. Hey, man, you fucked up. Just give him the information and go. Like, you're getting banned from the mall, whatever happens. And if you come back again, they'll probably just ban you again. Because they'll recognize you. It's over. I don't understand why he sat here protesting as much as he is. I don't understand why he's whining and crying about it. Probably because he's always used to getting stuff his own way. He comes across as a bit of a spoiled brat. Really, Jack Doherty? Maybe the biggest spoiled brat on YouTube. It's very strange that people like this exist because they make me doing my job so much harder because this is what people think of when they hear YouTuber. They think annoying fucking bloke like this who is going around and just being irritating. That's what they think. And that's what they think of YouTubers. And it's thanks to you, Jack. So cheers to everybody who works for this website. You make life harder for all of us. Thank you. Don't sugarcoat this so we can fix it, but like, what happened today? You the guy just got pressed that I was filming and my security guard stepped in and like kind of escalated a little bit. And from there, it just got bad. Like just from being around you and the authorities, like securities and all those guys, you just gotta be better about like de-escalating. I shit. literally was running away. I didn't talk to the guy. I just ran away and I let my security guard deal with it, but I think he escalated and made it worse. And then they caught I'm so pissed off. These vlogs are so weird. Who are these women? Who are these women who just sit around in the back Crowned for airtime to plug their special page to teenagers. Is that what they do? You know, I don't know what's worse. Being like a side person, a side character 
in the nicest way possible in a Jack Doherty vlog. I was going to say something way worse then. Or being one of the women on Twitter who wears a football shirt and goes, I'm so upset that my football team lost. Please buy my now. If you know. I don't know what's worse because both of them appeal to teenagers and both of them need to be put in a dark hole with zero ladder, so they can never climb out of the chasm in which they came from. When you go into the description, it's just all their Instagrams. And obviously the reason why I say Instagrams is because you can't link to the other website. So it's just linked to every single Instagram of these girls. And then I guess if you click on it, he owns all of these girls, which is insane. Oh yeah, and then there's a more of me link. Of course there is, class. That's so cool, man. Frankly, it's insane that all of these videos aren't age restricted because it's very clear what the actual aim of them is like he's hiding what his real business is behind the youtube front and he's aiming it at teenagers with this content like this is aimed at annoying bratty kids like mainly the average youtube viewer i just can't believe that a channel like this gets 13 million subscribers with like no strikes nothing the videos are monetized like man if i say the word like i'm not gonna say a word because i'll get demonetized but that's how crazy it is if i say a word um that's to do with I don't know, people loving each other. You know, like a, a kind of something that's similar to that. I wouldn't make any money off this video. I might not even make money off this video because I showed this content. That's where YouTube is with stuff like this. And he's just walking around, getting like five minute bans from Kick. But it says it all about Kick. I mean, I've said it before, you know, Kick is just the most horrific dog pile of content ever. It's just like the worst people you could ever imagine a live streaming on there. Well, welcome to the new year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back very soon with more stuff, talking about more people who are just bloody irritated on the internet. That's what we do on here. So if you want to watch it, subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys in a new video soon, everyone. Have a very happy new year. And um, see you soon, as I said. Okay. Bye, Alex. Bye. Bye.